Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will tell you what things to pay attention to if you want to sail with that Mest Divina cruise ship. Hopefully, the explanation can be used to consider the cruise ship of your dreams. If you think this video is useful, don't forget to share it with your friends, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're planning to sail with the MSC Divina cruise ship, here are some things to watch out for. Itinerary and Ports of Call Carefully review the cruise itinerary to ensure it matches your desired destinations and ports of call. Check the duration of the cruise, the specific ports visited, and the time spent in each port. Be aware of any potential changes or updates to the itinerary. Cabin Selection Take your time to choose the cabin category that best suits your needs and preferences. Consider factors such as location, size, amenities, and price. Keep in mind that cabins near public areas or located on lower decks may experience more noise or foot traffic. Additional costs. While the base fare usually covers accommodations, meals, and certain onboard activities, there may be additional costs for specialty dining, beverages, excluding water, tea, and coffee, spa treatments, Wi-Fi access, gratuities, and specific entertainment options. Familiarize yourself with these potential expenses to avoid any surprises. Dining Options The MSC Divina offers a variety of dining venues, including main dining rooms, specialty restaurants, buffet areas, and casual eateries. Familiarize yourself with the dining options available and consider making reservations for specialty restaurants in advance to secure your preferred dining times. Excursions and Activities Research and plan ahead to determine which shore excursions and onboard activities interest you the most. Take note of the cost, duration, and physical requirements of excursions to choose the ones that align with your preferences and capabilities. Embarkation and Disembarkation Pay attention to the embarkation and disembarkation processes. Arrive at the embarkation port on time and ensure you have all the necessary documentation, such as your passport and cruise documents. Review any specific instructions or timeframes for disembarkation to ensure a smooth departure. MSC Voyagers Club If you plan to sail with MSC cruises frequently, consider joining the MSC Voyagers Club Loyalty Program. It offers benefits and discounts to members, such as priority boarding, onboard discounts, cabin upgrades, and more. Remember that these points are my personal considerations for any cruise, and specific details may change over time. It is always a good idea to consult MSC Cruises or visit their official website for the latest information regarding MSC Divina and any special policies or guidelines. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully, the explanation can be used to consider the cruise ship of your dreams. Don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe to Luxury Cruises channel. See you in the next video.